Lacto-fermented foods. As I stated previously, there are two main types of fermentation, alcoholic fermentation and lactic acid fermentation. Lacto-fermented foods can be produced from all sorts of different substrates, transforming milk into yogurt, cabbage into sauerkraut or kimchi, or fish into fish sauce, which was once a popular condiment also known as a garum in ancient Rome. Sauerkraut is one such example of a fermented vegetable product. At its most basic is shredded cabbage mixed with salt, which is then fermented. However simple sauerkraut may appear, its popularity, long history, and nutritional transformation it undergoes during fermentation can attest to its importance in culinary, culture, and tradition, and human health. Sauerkraut. Fermented vegetable staples, fermented cabbage in particular, have existed in human history for thousands of years with fermenting practices developing independently and simultaneously around the world. The word sauerkraut comes from the German words sour meaning sour and kraut meaning herb or cabbage. At its most basic, sauerkraut is a fermentation of cabbage and salt. Cabbage was a cheap and nutrient-rich staple crop since it was easy to propagate throughout parts of Europe. Fermenting cabbage assured its longevity throughout the winter months to provide sustenance and nourishment and was a way to preserve a surplus crop that would otherwise quickly wilt and rot without the aid of refrigeration. The Fermentation Process White or green cabbage and even red cabbage is commonly used in the production of sauerkraut. Cabbage is rich in nutrients such as vitamins, folate, carotenoids, flavonoids, and phenolic compounds. In sauerkraut production, fresh cabbage is shredded and then mixed with a 2-3% to salt ratio. The cabbage is layered in a crock or glass jar, covered with a cloth and lid, which is weighed down to prevent air from reaching the cabbage. Salt is essential for sauerkraut production, as with the production of other lacto-fermented fruits and vegetables as it promotes the production of beneficial microbes and inhibits the growth of spoilage microbes by creating anaerobic conditions during fermentation. The amount of salt used may depend on a variety of factors, including the temperature at which the ferment is kept and the desired outcome. Salt also impacts the sensory properties of the final ferment, as well as the microbial populations. Sauerkraut can be fermented for just one week or several months, and can last for several months beyond that. Fermentation wouldn't be possible without the aid of microbes. Lab or lactic acid bacteria transform raw cabbage, bringing out more of its potential nutrient benefits. Lactic acid bacteria and a variety of other microbes, both beneficial and harmful, are present in raw cabbage. During sauerkraut production, salt is added and the cabbage is pressed down, covered, and weighed down to remove any air after which anaerobic fermentation begins. These anaerobic conditions favor the lactic acid bacteria. Transformation. Sauerkraut is traditionally made by spontaneous fermentation, but can also be made by way of backslopping or by use of a starter culture. A starter culture allows for a more stable and homogeneous product, which can be useful in commercial production. Regardless of which method is used, Fermentation transforms the substrate in many ways. The taste is altered as carbohydrates are transformed into lactic acids, giving sauerkraut its characteristic tangy flavor. Sauerkraut also retains a satisfying crunchy texture early in the fermentation process, slowly becoming softer the longer it ferments. Health Benefits While preservation may have been the original motivation for fermenting cabbage, our ancestors understood the health benefits of fermented cabbage to a certain extent before science revealed its true potential. The English navigator and explorer, Captain James Cook, recognized sauerkraut's ability to prevent scurvy in his sailors and brought barrels of it on long voyages as it also kept without the need of refrigeration. During fermentation, cabbage's chemical composition undergoes a transformation. The final product is rich in vitamins such as vitamin E and C, folic acid, phenolic compounds, and antioxidants. The antioxidant content actually increases three to four times during fermentation. Sauerkraut contains acids 
such as lactic, acetic, and malic acids, as well as ethanol. And it also is an important source of phytochemicals. Eating fermented vegetables like sauerkraut may improve digestion and may even exhibit anti-carcinogenic properties, making it potentially beneficial in preventing cancer. Sauerkraut may also be probiotic. Certain strains of lactic acid bacteria, when consumed live, may impart health benefits on the consumer. Preservation. As a consumer, selecting the best jar of sauerkraut that will offer the best flavor, texture, and potential health benefits, it is always important to read the fine print. The development and adaptation of modern food production techniques has improved food quality standards, ensuring consumers a standardized, safe, and hygienic product. Pasteurization, a technique named after its founder, Louis Pasteur, revolutionized food safety for mass production. Despite the relative safety of fermented products, when implemented on a mass production level, they are often subject to various preservation techniques such as pasteurization or sterilization to ensure safety, stability, and to increase shelf life and to decrease the risk of spoilage. Unfortunately, during pasteurization, which involves subjecting the product to a thermal treatment, beneficial microbes may be significantly reduced. It may also impact the texture and freshness of the product. Another form of preservation may involve the addition of preservatives to ensure the safety, stability, and longevity of the product. Such preservatives include sorbic and benzoic acids, potassium sorbate, and sodium benzoate. Sodium benzoate, used in some fermented or fresh products, is specifically added to inhibit bacterial growth, especially lactic acid bacteria. Consumers searching out probiotic or unpasteurized naturally fermented products must navigate an often overwhelming variety of deceptive marketing, unsubstantiated health claims, and pasteurized and preservative-laden products.